Yo, what is up guys? It's Miss Crazy G here. And in today's video, I'm going to be awakening the brand new sand fruit and I'm going to go over all the moves and all that, how much it costs and how good the fruit is. So, as you can see, we also got the brand new inventory system update. Let me go ahead and search for my sand fruit really fast and I will eat that. The inventory looks okay. It's not the greatest looking, honestly. Not the worst. But I'm going to try to keep track of how many gems this cost in total. So, I'm going to go through this and I'll try to keep track of that. Right, I went ahead and awakened it now. In total, it cost 113 Okay, so it's one of the more expensive ones, but we can go ahead and test the moves now. It does have a fly. We're going to check out the fly first, of course. Uh, oh, it's actually really quick. Doesn't look like, you know, the most fancy, but I mean, it's a fly. What can you do? Oh, we'll go over here and we'll test out some of that, some of like the AOE and stuff, and then I'll go test damage. All right, so first up, we need to equip the armament. Oh, okay, so that's what the armament is. It's like, allows you to use your M1s. Okay, so this is like, without hockey or anything on, so what's that? What's that saying? 57 i can't tell i think it's 57k so it's not crazy but that's without hockey or anything on so not gonna be that much so desert rain let's stand here see where it hits looks cool i really like the blue in there and is that like a range thing it has okay aoe but nothing crazy let's see and then we have strangling dehydration oh it just takes you to a random enemy and then it does have an aoe effect as well not bad then we have ground death which i'm trying to wait for more enemies to spawn okay here we go r um it's all right aoe i mean it got like an enemy over there some people over here so not you know terrible and then we have the rail gun which is obviously going to be ranged okay it's, it's really weird to aim uh but that still did hit someone it's better for people who are just straight up in front of you not trying to aim it like really far away or anything i'll do it one more time also very fast cooldowns yeah i mean overall that's pretty good and then we have i'm not quite sure how to get the minigun though that's the thing that i was looking for but i'm gonna try to figure that out after the fact but for now let's just go test out the new damage in the thing in the gear 4 dungeon all right i finally made it into the gear 4 dungeon on my way over here i did see that the new sand island is actually first sea so that's really cool especially for the people who aren't you know in second C yet but i'm gonna go ahead and start with the moves i'm not gonna I'm not gonna equip the desert armament because i don't feel like m1 should be added to the overall damage value of stuff but we'll go ahead and start off with desert rain okay it's it's doing a lot of damage that's a little op for the first move already i'll tally up the damage and throw it somewhere on the screen and then strangling dehydration that was pretty good all right i'll throw the damage on the screen somewhere here too then ground death I'll put that on screen somewhere and then Desert Railgun, which is like its ultimate, so it should do a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. It's almost dealing about 10 mil damage. It's more like 9, so it's not the strongest in the game for sure for M1. So, I mean, it's actually got a lot of damage if you're just M1ing. And then plus the Desert Rain at how many times it hits is pretty good. But, uh, yeah, overall, it's pretty good fruit. Uh, it has a lot of low cooldowns, has some range, has some AoE. So, it's pretty good. I just don't know how to get the minigun just yet. So, as soon as I figure that out, I will make another video showing how to get the minigun and stuff. But that's really it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!